A terrible tragedy. At this point, we're still trying to understand the full scope of exactly what has gone on. Uh, let me tell you about what we know and, and perhaps even more importantly at this point, what we don't know and cannot confirm. As you know, often in a situation like this, the early reports are sketchy. It's important at this point uh, in, this, uh, in this operation uh, not to say too much and not to go down the road of speculation. We do know there were 48 people on board that flight. Uh, authorities now say there are multiple fatalities. We do know there is at least one fatality of somebody on the ground. The 40, there were believed there were 44 passengers, four crew members. Someone who has previously been on that flight, who takes it repeatedly, said usually there were two flight attendants, two members of the crew inside the cockpit. And on this particular flight, 44. That is a, a look at the plane. It's a Q400, a bombardier aircraft. Some 74 seats on that aircraft. Two rows of, of seats, uh, two seats side by side. Uh, with an aisle in between, so four rows total uh, uh, across the, the width of, of the aircraft, uh, some 20 or so rows deep, according to one uh, person who's been on that plane often. Uh, again, it seems as if the plane may still be on fire. We had a press conference about 10 or 15 minutes ago uh, in which they said that uh, firefighters and multiple personnel are on the scene trying to battle this blaze, but that the plane itself was still on fire. They, at this press conference, made no comment on survivors. That is telling. There's also, we're getting no reports of huge numbers of people being taken to hospitals. Uh, so at this point, we know one fatality on the ground, but no comment uh, on the actual people who were on board that plane. The fatality that we do know about was somebody who was on the ground. The, the plane slammed into a house in the, in the, uh, the early uh, evening hours. It came down, uh, according to one eyewitness, at 1017. This person saw the plane crashing at 10.17 p.m. This was a flight from Newark Airport to Buffalo. It was supposed to take off at 7 p.m. this evening from Newark. Apparently was somewhat delayed. Uh, so there, were, there, were, there may be some confusion about for, for folks about who is on the flight. Some people who were supposed to be on the flight turned out not to be, took other flights. They've talked to their loved ones. We've heard some eyewitness reports from people who were supposed to be on the flight uh, and were not on that flight. Um, but again, the, the plane is said to have flattened at least one home that has slammed into, and you've been watching the pictures now for quite a while. Uh, it is certainly a chaotic scene. You can tell the weather, the uh, conditions are, are not ideal. You see rain right there uh, in the images. We, uh, two different people uh, describing the weather in different ways. One, a passenger on a plane which flew a similar route around the same time. We said it was cloudy, foggy, rainy, and snowy. An official on the ground at this press conference about 10 or 15 minutes ago described it as, quote, a little bit of sleet and rain. Again, we're not sure what has caused this plane to crash. Um, at, at this point, uh, we are still very early on. This is not a rescue operation, uh, workers, uh, officials have said, again, at this press conference just a short time ago. Ominous words, no doubt, but we want to be very careful about what we are saying, uh, at, just giving you the information that we know as fact. Uh, there are a lot of people now who, who believe they may have loved ones on this plane who are watching this right now. Uh, there is a number for family members to call. That number is 1-800-621-3263. Again, this is a number only for family members who may be concerned about having a loved one on those, that plane. 1-800-621-3263. I'm just getting word now that New York State Police are saying that all 48 people aboard this flight have died. This word just